Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel, hope all is well. So today I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. Come on in, take what resonates, leave the rest. If there's anything that you need to know in regards to how to get a reading, then be sure to email me. And as always, thank you guys so much for your love and support. I really do appreciate it. I also do have a channel that caters towards Virgo, or not Virgo, but all signs depending on what element that you are. So be sure to head on over there if you guys are looking to get like an extended message, especially if it pertains to earth and or collective messages, okay? Uh, I did go ahead and tap into the energy before I put this uh, camera on. So what I did pick up in the energy is something about heavy hitters. Okay, there's something in regards to a heavy hitter. Okay, a big shot, a big timer, a kingpin. Somebody here could be a heavy hitter in their community or whatever organized situation that they have going on. For some of y'all, if y'all into drug or crime and organization, that could be in regards to that. A head honcho, somebody that is a boss, a executive person that makes decisions or the shot caller here. I also got that somebody is being uh, brought out onto the uh, bringing out the big guns. This could be information. This could be a uh, product. This could be whatever this is. Somebody here could be an entrepreneur as well here. Okay. I'm also getting um, doing weights in the gym could be like what bringing out the big guns is about. Somebody here could be a fitness guru. I've talked about this in uh, one of my readings here. We have someone considers themselves the man or the woman. Okay. So let's see. What's the message here? What do we need to know? Gonna be starting off with one of my newest decks. What's the energy? Okay, so we have create. I can't make this up, okay? So somebody here is in this green auric energy, okay? I'm also getting initiation. So there's something that needs to be initiated in order for you to create something, okay? Um, this crystal technology is in reverse in the middle of the deck. So I want to figure out what this is about, okay? All right, now I even heard hermaphrodite. We have hermetic. Okay, so somebody here is in their Virgo energy. They're in this hermetic energy to create, okay? Like I said, somebody is going to be known. Look, I can't make this up. I wrote this down. Somebody is going to be a heavy hitter, a big shot or big timing. Um, I, I feel like if somebody is a kingpin, they're going to go about it the smart way or the long route around because of the government standards here. So somebody here could be trying to sell their own stuff or somebody needs to do something in terms of like um, eatery, I heard, and, um, you know, kind of doing things that allows others to be creative or inspired when it comes to what they're eating or putting into their bodies, okay? I'm going to go ahead and see what this crystal technology is in reverse because that's in reverse here. Okay. Let's see real quick. So let's see. So that is 103. All right. So crystal technology, it says if this card has come up for you, it is time to communicate with the crystal spirit realm. It's been said that humans once had 12 strands of DNA and 12 chakras that we actively use. The more light it contains, the more information can be obtained from the elemental uh, being. So somebody's missing some level of uh, um, DNA or, or chakras, okay, that can allow them to, to build something really, really, really good. And it's so funny that I talked about this because like I said, I wrote down a lot of things that I picked up in the, in the energy. Somebody's going to bring out some sort of big guns that they might've created. Like I said, it could be product doing weights or just having a, a, a very intellectual uh, strategy. Okay. This card reminds us that we can tap into our inner being 
to attune to other elements, including trees, plants, animals, and more. So somebody needs to go out into nature to kind of develop certain things that they want to create or bring into, um, into some sort of, uh, blueprint. Okay. I'm also getting this card tells you to listen to your clairaudient telepathic and clair clairvoyant abilities. Everything our phones and computers can do is possible, but there is a tiny silicon based organism inside. And at one time, this technology was more ingrained into our way of life more than you think. Thank the crystals within your home or anything that you encounter and even your phone's crystal because all sentient beings respond to human emotion. Okay. So, uh, it says work with mal malachite. New thought pattern. I recognize patterns and choose grace, compassion, and kindness for myself. So that's a little affirmation that you can take away. So yeah, this is something that's missing, this element. Something about your DNA or, or uh, what you can uh, develop in the chakras that you're given here spiritually. So somebody not only needs to connect to nature, but tap into their spiritual energy to combine the two to create something beautiful. Okay, somebody could have a really, really, really nice voice. Somebody could be initiated into a group setting or be starting a, 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 a singing group or whatever this is here. All right. I'm going to put this down. Let's see what spirit is talking about. What is it that we need to know? Those cards are beautiful. Okay. What's the energy? Okay, so... I'm hearing that somebody's on the fence about some sort of opportunity that they're going to be given or have been given. Okay. I feel like somebody's sitting on some level of opportunity for them. Okay. I feel like somebody is trying to do something uh, solely on their own. Somebody's trying to figure it out or, or uh, thinking about this opportunity, if it's worth it or not here. Okay. You could also have somebody trying to spy on you or come around your door. Somebody here may uh, be a feminine energy. Could be from the Muslim community here that tried to uh, come towards your door or take uh, some sort of letter or package that was left for you. Okay, somebody was told to do this. Okay, by a masculine energy, a father here. Okay, there's some sort of gossip or somebody that wants to know some sort of information that's uh, allowing a feminine energy to try to bully you. Okay, bully is coming out. Okay, somebody here was supposed to highlight their tendency to intimidate others, to help them confront. You are supposed to confront your fears of this bully, okay? This person was sent by an ex-lover or somebody that could have been a part of your soul tribe here. Okay, I feel like this is somebody that could have been an, a, a teacher of some sort or no longer teaches anymore, could be athletic here. Hmm. Somebody uses their athleticism to intimidate others. That's what I'm getting here. What's the message? Pay attention to signs and synchronicities. For some of you, you're connecting to a Libra. Okay, somebody here wants to coincide or celebrate with you. Somebody here wants to be able to sit at the same table to try to deliberate uh, what decision you've come to or whatever this is here. This could be co-workers, family members, um, social media platforms and things of that nature. I feel like somebody sees how great of a leader that you are or stepping into a leader energy. I feel like there's some level of, of your career taking off or something like that. You're going to be doing something that was you were destined to do here. And I feel like you're going to be giving out creative work. Okay. There's something about like healthy eating or um, something health wise. Okay. I feel like you're going to uh, also, for some of you, be some sort of motivational speaker or singer. I did get that from that, um, that deck that we just used here. Okay. So some of you could be um, around a Leo a Libra, um, and like pentacles, earth sign here. Okay. That's what I'm getting here. No weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. Somebody actually tried to come around your door recently. Okay. Even minutes ago, trying to take something that doesn't belong to them or was trying to, uh, ear hustle or eavesdrop. 
on what you got going on in your home here. Okay. Look, we have page of cups and the hermit. Okay. So somebody here that's in hermit mode may be trying to figure out some sort of um, reasoning for something or um, trying to get in contact with you for some wisdom. Okay. What's the energy? What is it that we need to know? Somebody could be verifying like a particular event or something like that here. Okay. What's the message for Virgo? What is it that we need to know? Give us clear and concise messages for Virgo. Like I said, look, something is going to show up very, very great for you. I feel like something's about to take off, but you needed to let go of some sort of devil energy. Okay. There was some sort of devil energy surrounding uh, you moving forward that may have kept you back. Okay. That you needed to work through with this three of swords card. I feel like something is about to be revealed about a particular fire sign or something that they might've kept from you in regards to a queen of pentacles. Okay. Remember I did just say that there's something about, um, there's something about a feminine energy that's coming with this lurker situation or trying to get some information, ear hustling, eavesdropping, trying to come up towards you to try to bully you because you're being highly thought of. Okay, you should accept valid criticism when it comes to this fruits of your labor that's coming. Pay attention to your health or don't allow certain things around you to deter you from your health here. Okay. Tell me more. What's the message? What is it that we need to know? For the Virgos. Give us clear and concise messages for Virgo. What's the energy? Okay, so we have a masculine. There's a masculine that's in your energy or you could be the masculine. There's a masculine that you need to cut ties with to, to bring in changes. I feel like you need to step out of your own element to not be so vulnerable or, or standoffish when it comes to you unifying with the universe, okay? Tell me more. Who is this person that you're connecting to in love? What is it that we need to know? Okay, whether you're in a relationship with this person loosely or not. What's the message here? Okay, so I don't want to be the reason that you cry is what this person wants to tell you. They wish they could hold you tonight. So there's something about them missing being around you, being able to touch, hold you, kiss you, whatever this is. They want to know if uh, they can work this out, okay? If you're in a relationship, what is the current energy? Current energies for those of you that are in a relationship and or dating, What is it that we need to know here? Okay, so we have blooming. Something is taking off for you, okay? And I think that you're, you're starting to feel it, but you have to connect the dots so that, you know, you allow things to actually come to you, okay? Whatever it is that you're manifesting, Spirit is saying that whatever this is that you put to the side or might have given up on temporarily, don't do it, okay? Even if that means... Sorry, even if that means somebody doesn't get back to you in the time frame that you're that you're wanting to or expecting to, give it time, okay? Or start reaching out. Somebody wants you to talk about something that you're going to be going through or manifesting so that they know how to move here. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. Somebody wants to get closer to you as you get closer to your dreams. Okay. Don't allow anybody to ride your coattail or bully you here. Hmm. What's the energy? What is it that we need to know for Virgo, Holy Spirit? Whatever comes out, we'll take. 
Okay, so somebody's trying to stop some sort of sudden wealth that is coming out for you or something could be delayed here, okay? There's something that you're expecting, all right? Somebody could have their children uh, off to see their grandparents, their uh, other side of the family or whatever this is, or somebody could be embarking on getting custody of their child or um, revisiting something in regards to a child or their childhood, okay? I'm also getting here expectation, toil and labor, and journey, okay? Somebody here is going places, and it's a really positive thing that's going on here. In terms of your occupation or your career, it looks like you're, you're going to have to put on a lot of hard work that's going to end up paying off for you. Where you go to places that you didn't even think you could be at or, or get training from, whatever this is, it's going to bring a lot of uh, movement, a lot of uh, transitioning yourself into different spaces and things of that nature. Okay, somebody could be into science and technology is what I'm also hearing too. Okay. Let's see. Tell me more about the messages for Virgo. What is it that you need to know? I feel like something is stopping you. Okay. This could be a third party situation. Okay. You could be uh, really banged up emotionally about cutting something off on an intimate level with somebody or somebody doing this to you. Somebody here could be trying to get away from um, this intimate level that you guys have reached. Okay. We have long distances killing me. Yeah. Somebody no longer wants to be on a break with you. Okay. Whoever this person is, they're at a distance from you. Somebody could have felt like there wasn't enough time being spent at home versus how, many, how much time that somebody spends with their homies here. Okay. Somebody feels like they just couldn't take the level of judgment being passed onto them or them onto you, depending on who this message is for. Okay. So we have meeting and coworkers. Somebody here is going to be getting some level of access for documentation purposes and files. Okay. Somebody's trying to get some sort of documentation or files on a particular person, whether this is you or a person external to you through coworkers. Okay. Not just present coworkers, but ex coworkers. Okay. Somebody's going to realize that something is a little funny. Something is going to go missing or somebody was asking a lot of questions, which makes somebody guilty here. Okay. There was a group of people that wanted to try to seduce you so that they could, they could have access to you here. Or you could have been dating multiple people or in the dating pool, but there are security cameras that are going to uh, tell the truth. Okay. There are three, three sides to a story, yours, the other person's and the truth that God sees. Okay. Period. What's the message for Virgo? What is it that we need to know? So it looks like there were a couple people that were trying to uh, get some sort of cooperation from either you or third parties to get information, okay, so that they can use that information to bully you, to stop you from what you're trying to create, okay? Somebody here could be a, a single mother and or father, okay? There could have been a single mother or father that felt like there was some sort of manipulation or mind, uh, mind games being played. Okay, somebody here might be trying to retrieve screen records or receipts that they could use against you here. This is a karmic soulmate. Okay, somebody here wants to prove that a child or, or some sort of time frame doesn't match up to a child being uh, for a mother and or father here. Okay. I'm also getting that somebody is trying to proceed with some sort of marriage or before somebody could get married, they want to know some sort of truth surrounding the paternity of a child here. What's the message? Messages for Virgo. Okay. 
What is it that we need to know, Holy Spirit? Okay, so we have honesty, trusting spouse or husband and wife. So it looks like somebody went the route to try to trust somebody, but they felt like some sort of truth. Um, I heard recommendation, some sort of truth um, was so superficial that somebody needed like, you know, confirmation for whatever it is. Okay, I feel like... Um, Somebody is trying to gain some sort of confidence or somebody is trying to give confidence to somebody else to make sure that if they are going to go on to a stand in the eyes of the court, that they have their story straight. OK, about what happened between um, two, two or more people or what may have taken place uh on camera, I'm getting something about social media. Okay. Somebody has a social media platform that they are, are um, quoting somebody that whatever it is that they might have said. Okay. I'm also getting this witch, this voodoo queen was trying to create a potion to, to uh, allow somebody to comply or to cause destruction in somebody's life or logic to somebody here. Okay. Whatever this, this person did, this voodoo witch, this spiritual practitioner did this evil psychic offered bad advice or spell that's going to backfire on not only the person that wanted the spell to be done, but on this, this, uh, practitioner. Okay. Somebody's going to, um, be getting technical difficulties with their, um, their technology. Like I said, okay. Somebody's going to have technical difficulties with their phone, their computer, their microwave, anything that's electrical. Okay. Somebody's even going to lose keys here. Okay. Somebody lost keys to a business. Okay. Somebody was put in charge of a, um, closing up. If you're working a nine to five or whatever the case may be, somebody lost keys to their establishment here or their car keys. Okay. I'm also getting, somebody is trying to wrap their, their, um, somebody's trying to manipulate an individual to think that they can wrap somebody around their little finger to get this person to do whatever it is that they want them to do. I'm also getting requirements. Somebody's failing um, to uh, pass something or pass some sort of test or whatever this is. There's some sort of uh, internet connection that could be going bad or somebody needs to fix this here. Okay. Somebody feels like the government is failing them to some sort of business standard or somebody's failing government business standard here. Take it as it resonates, reverse the roles. I'm also getting, um, this could be about electricity. If somebody's just opening up, opening up a new establishment, there's something about electrical wires or needing to fix them or making sure that something, um, meets, uh, like the standards of whatever this is. Okay. We have co-workers gossiping about you or is intimidated. I'm also getting the names. Uh, this could be first or last names, Mullins, Haley, Baker, McKay, Allen and Remington. All right. I'm also getting that somebody here could be involved with a probation officer or be on probation. Okay. Somebody's not allowed to be in a, in a toxic environment or do anything that allows things to become toxic for them. Okay. Somebody could have been uh, spotted somewhere where they're not supposed to be and they're going to be given a warning. Okay. I'm also getting like godly uh, format. I can't even talk. Godly formation, esoteric knowledge. Somebody is a high priest or priestess that will be receiving esoteric knowledge. This is godly information for only this person to open up. Okay. Somebody is trying to investigate about your spiritual energy or being here. Somebody that is spiritually gifted is being listened to, or somebody's reporting back to a person that is curious, not enough to do the dirty work themselves to eavesdrop or to find out why you are the way you are, what gifts that you hold or why you're always in a place to reach some sort of blessing, but they're getting somebody else to do it. Okay. And this is a feminine energy. Okay. Let's see. What is it that we need to know? Look, spirit is saying to trust in the divine. Do not confront these motherfuckers right here. They're going to take care of everything. Okay. Somebody's heart is going to stop. If they don't stop, their heart is going to stop. The heart chakra is in reverse. Okay. They're going to be replenished, but somebody's heart is going to stop if they don't stop coming at you. And that's what I'm saying here. 
Spirit is saying that you should share the love here, okay? Even the ones that didn't uh, deserve to be nurtured, share the love here, okay? That will strengthen your crown chakra. That's what I'm getting here. What's the energy for Virgo? What is it that we need to know? Okay, so we have confidence. I did pick up that energy from the last few cards that was in here. Somebody's mad because you were able to obtain the level of energy that they wanted to try to take from you here. Okay, they didn't want you to have any peace in your mind, your heart, your spirit. They wanted you to be anxious. They wanted you to feel like you were alone in something, but spirit said, no, nah, that's not going to happen. Let them, let them wander about what's going to happen next. Okay. Where I give you your intuitive energies for you not to, for, for you to break free from whatever it was that they were trying to put on you here. Okay. Somebody's mad because you're getting your energy together. Okay. You're being replenished. You're being restored of everything that somebody wanted for you. I'm telling y'all somebody's heart's going to stop because they won't stop. They won't stop coming for you. So God is coming for them. Okay. Period. Let me see here. What's the energy for Virgo? I feel like God is speaking through me. Look, spirit is saying, stop trying to find good news because there's already good news here. Stop trying to find good news. Okay. Everything's going to be okay. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Spirit is taking care of everything for you. Okay. Schedule is in the middle of the deck. Spirit said to wait in divine timing. Everything will make sense. Stop trying to look for like confirmation of good news. You're already getting good news. Everything is going to be okay here. Okay. Damn. What's the message? Messages for Virgo. What is it that Virgo needs to know? Give us clear and concise messages for Virgo. Look, there's something that you should take as a rejection when it comes to you. If somebody's rejecting you, reject. Take that as good something good here okay somebody here that you are going to be rejecting or somebody rejects you this is because they weren't able to manipulate you here okay i feel like somebody here has you in some sort of competition with another option okay and somebody's trying to see if you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this individual before they stop playing games let them play it by themselves here okay don't retreat with this motherfucker. Don't take no new experience with this motherfucker. Don't travel with this motherfucker. Don't even go in their car for five minutes with this motherfucker right here. Okay? Because all they want to do is see you chase them. They want to see how, how low can you go? How far can you go? How wide can you stretch? Don't, don't leave it to their imagination. Make them, make them work for it and make them think a little bit. Okay? Somebody's about to celebrate something big. Something's brewing here. Okay. Let's see. What's the message? What is it that we need to know? For Virgo. Okay. So somebody's uh, in their thoughts, in and out of thoughts surrounding foundation, their home, um, capabilities, somebody's trying to figure out how they can get into your home or, um, they're trying to figure out a day where you're at work or trying to get a main person to do a good deed to let them into your home. Okay. There's going to be a lawsuit that, that will be filed because somebody tried to, to enter your home to get into your living room. You may have a cat that likes to sleep on your couch here. Okay. Somebody has a cat. It's like a one toned cat with a white, a white, like half of a white face to their stomachs here. 
Hmm. Somebody's trying to do some digging surrounding um, gaining a lot of money. Somebody's trying to figure out your financial situation. Okay, and how they didn't know this. This is a fake person. This is a woman. Didn't I tell you? This is a woman. Okay, that's doing this for a male. He can't do shit for himself. So he's sending. <laughs> let me just, let me just not. He's trying to send a chick to do it. Let me just say it like that. Number 16, number 65, number 52 could be significant here. If y'all think y'all are bad, try it. That's all I'm going to say. If y'all think y'all are bad, try it. Anyway, Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in your own personal love reading, be sure to email me. And as always, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.